The lands of Cervenesus known locally as Snassus were originally part of the holdings of Kilwinning Abbey in North Ayrshire, Scotland. The laird of Cervenesus residence once stood at what became known as Little Cervenesus on the high ground above the farm of Cervenesus Mains, a short distance from Cervenesus Mill. The name Cervenesus may have derived from the size of the land holding of the mill itself. In March 1558 the Montgomery family purchased the few of a circumflex £3.280 the lands of Cervenesus from the abbot of Kilwinning Abbey. Prior to this time the family had only rented the property. Holding the few gave the Montgomery family rights to the minerals beneath the land, a hereditary possession, a fixed few duty, etc. The banished burn rises near Cervenesus and runs down from here to enter the River Garnock at Bridge and in Kilwinning. In 1558 Patrick Montgomery is the first recorded holder of the lands of Cervenesus following the selling of the few by the abbot of Kilwinning, and by the end of the century he was a fairly well-off bonnet laird. A bonnet laird was a petty landowner who wore a hat or bonnet like the humble working labourers. William Montgomery of Seven Acres is recorded in 1562 but had died before 1612, for Thomas Montgomery became heir to his father on 26 June 1673. The property appears to have passed from the family by sale, or through marriage soon afterwards. The Montgomerys of Cervenesus are thought to have been descended from the Montgomerys of Smithston, and through them, they would have been related to the Earls of Eglinton. Roy's map of circa 1747 shows the name Cervenesus applied to the site on the hill above what is now Cervenesus Mains. This elevated site had a roundel with a path running to it, a shelter belt and a substantial dwelling house with associated outbuildings. A small building now is shown on the other side of the road. The dwelling later became known as Little Cervenesus. The house stood on what was then a direct route to Kilwinning, and this road led directly to what is now Cervenesus Mains. A limacolne is shown above Little Cervenesus on the 1856 map. By 1897 Little Cervenesus had ceased to be a farm, all but one of the old farm buildings were unroofed and the roundland shelterboard had been cut down. Several plantation areas are present others have been felled. Unusually several roundels or roughly circular plantations are shown on the old maps at Little Cervenesus, on the road to Clonbeath, on the old road from Huller Hill and one, that is now merged into the plantation within Cervenesus Wood. Roundels were often planted on estates as landscape features. The surviving roundel near Cervenesus House still has its bank, and ditches that were built to keep stock from entering. The 1747 map by Roy shows a number of roundels on the Eglinton estate lands between the high and mid Monka farms. The flora within the Cervenesus wood roundel is much more diverse than the surrounding self seeded plantation with old woodland indicators such as wood horsetail, hard fern, wood sorrel, enchanter's nightshade, etc. Cervenesus wood appears to be of 19th century origin and had a number of access tracks running through it. Cervenesus Mill is said to have been one of the mills owned by the monks of Kilwinning Abbey, together with Craig Mill and the Lynn Glen and Algarven Mill. And it passed into secular hands with the purchase of the few by the Montgomery family in 1558. The location of Cervenesus Mill is marked from the early 1600s onwards. Members of the King family were millers at Cervenesus as well as at Algarven Mill. This old corn mill ceased production in the 1960s. A Scottish acre was equivalent to 1.3 English acres, 5,080 square metres, or 0.508 hectares. Being such a small land holding the name Cervenesus may refer to the original lands of Cervenesus Mill, that are largely enclosed within a loop of the Lugton water only, and was later applied to the lands running towards Lylestone. The site is known as Acres on a few of the older maps, and the recorded name Sundkers Mill may also relate to it. It is worth noting that the Scots word acre can also refer to a cereal crop such as barley, oats, etc.